The President, Le please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. During today's sessions, the Chamber will hear the testimony of TCW 389. The Chamber has already informed the parties that uh, the co-prosecutors and lead co-lawyers for the civil parties will have the whole morning today and a session in the afternoon. Et Court officer is now instructed to report to the chamber the current status of the parties to the proceedings today. Je prie le greffe de faire rapport sur la présence des parties. Le greffier. Good morning, Mr. President and Your Honours. All parties to the proceedings today are present, sont présentes, except Mr. Kong Som On, the National Co-Counsel for Mr. Kyo Som Han, who is absent due to his personal commitment. Il est absent pour raison personnelle. Mr. Nunji is present in his holding cell. Dans sa cellule this based on the decision by the trial chamber. Comme he is allowed to observe the proceedings downstairs due to his health il confirmed. Est à TCW 389 is the witness today. The witness is, il est prévu present in the waiting est room. Il est dans la salle this witness has confirmed that to the best of the witness knowledge, the witness is not in a relationship with an accused or a civil party in this case file. This witness also took the oath on Tuesday, the 30th of Le mardi April 30 2013. The witness is assisted by Le jury counsel, Mom Rutier. There is no reserved Routier. witness today. Thank you, Mr. President, and your honors. De réserve. Merci, Monsieur le président, the President, Monsieur. thank you. Court officer is now directed to Merci. call the witness and Huissier the jury counsel into the courtroom. Please. Le témoin et son avocat. The President. Good morning, Mr. Witness. What's your name? Bonjour, please? Monsieur le Témoin. Comment vous appelez-vous? Response. I am Lum Sa. Le Témoin. Je m'appelle Lum Sa. Question. Sart. Mr. Lum Sa, how Question. old are you? Monsieur Lum Sa, quel âge avez-vous? Response. I am Réponse. 54 years old. J'ai 54 ans. Question. Mr. Lumsat, where Question. do you live? Monsieur Lumsat, où habitez-vous?
response i live in Posat province bakan district bang bad condal commune the president uh, mr lum sat uh, please be reminded that uh, before you respond to questions Observe some pause. Wait until vous plaît. you see the red light Veuillez being activated on your mic before you proceed to respond to saline. questions. Otherwise, uh, your messages uh, Sinon, could not be conveyed uh, properly. Every unit uh, will automatically activate La your mic, so you don't need to worry about this button and only when you see the red light uh, that you can proceed to respond. Sur le bouton, mais Question, que le what do you do for a living? Est votre Response, Réponse. I am a rice farmer. Je suis un Question, de riz. what's your parents' names? Question, comment s'appellent vos parents? Response. My father is Tia. My mother is Nam. Tia et ma Question. Nam. What's your wife's name Question. and how many children do you Comment have? s'appelle votre épouse et combien d'enfants avez-vous? Response. Réponse. My wife is Chen. I have ma seven femme children. s'appelle Chen. Four daughters. J'ai sept enfants. Three sons. Quatre the president, uh, thank you, Mr. Lum Sat. According to Merci the report by the greffier of the trial chamber, to the best of your knowledge, uh, you are not uh, in the relationship with an accused or a civil party in this case. Is that true? Est-ce exact? Response. Réponse. Yes, it is true, Mr. Oui, President. Oui, c'est exact, Monsieur le Président. The President, thank you. According to the same report, uh, you already took the oath. You took the oath on vous avez prêté the morning of Tuesday, the 30th of April, le mardi, nine, uh, rather, 2013, 30 avril 2013, in this court dans complex. La matinée, Is that true? Et ce, dans l'enceinte de ce tribunal. Est-ce exact? Response. Réponse. Yes, it is. Oui, c'est exact. Thank you. Le président. Now the chamber Merci. would like uh, to notify you of your right under Rule 38, right against self-incrimination of witnesses. As a witness, you may object to making any statement that might tend to de dire quoi que ce soit incriminate you. In other words, you have the right not to incriminate yourself. Autrement dit, vous exercez le droit during these proceedings, the chamber have assisted uh, with the VESSU unit to make sure that you have a jury Avec council where you can consult with, à à for example, when you feel your responses may be self-incriminating si and you can enjoy this right fully. And as the witness, the testimony that you are to give shall relate to what uh, you had Dans knowledge réponses, of. Vous devrez vous appuyer sur and that you have to respond to all questions savez, by the judges of the bench or parties to the proceedings, et des parties, except. Uh, questions that may Sauf that you may feel that uh, in your responses uh, uh, the content of which would be self-incriminated and incriminating and as the witness uh, you shall tell the truth Vous the whole truth nothing la vérité, but the truth la vérité et rien que la vérité. based on your knowledge and 
experiences. Mr. Lumsan, have you ever Monsieur given an interview or any interview to the co-investigating judges of the Office of Co-Investigators? If so, where have these uh, con uh, interviews been conducted si and oui, how many times did you give such interviews? Response. I had uh, given Réponse. interviews to them on three occasions. Ils m'ont entendu trois fois. The president, uh, Le president, three occasions or two occasions? Trois fois ou deux fois? Response. Réponse. They went there on three occasions Ils sont when I gave the interviews. Fois. The president, uh, do you still remember where Question. these interviews uh, took place? Ces auditions ont Did they take lieu? place at the same time? Sorry, same place. Eu lieu en même temps? Response, même uh, they took place Réponse. at two different places. Elles ont eu lieu à deux endroits différents. The president, uh, where did uh, these interviews uh, take place? À quel endroit? Response. Réponse. I have not taken the record of the date, Je pas but noté it was la at date. the uh, call office. Mais au bureau de and call. also at my home. Ainsi que chez moi. The president, before you appear before this chamber, Le have you read Avant or reviewed or been chambre, read out the statements you gave before the co-investigators? Ou bien est-ce que ceci of the office of co-investigating judges to refresh your memory? Pour vous rafraîchir la mémoire. Response. Réponse. Yes, I still have. Uh, I still remember the statements I Je me souviens provided. Toujours des déclarations the que president, faites. have you read or reviewed uh, the statements que vous avez lu you once um, vos gave to the co-investigating judges? Tel que you have been dans here a few days already. My question to you is whether you have read uh, the statements again si or not. Relu Response, yes, I have, uh, briefly, Réponse, Mr. President. Oui, je l'ai fait rapidement, Monsieur le Président. Question. To the best of your Question. recollection, are the statements or the accounts in the statement you have just reviewed consistent que vous avez with relu those sont you gave to the investigators back then. Aux enquêteurs à l'époque. Response. Réponse. I remember some of the accounts and I forget Je some me souviens de certaines because choses uh, que it dites, was a long time ago and I effet, have not uh, paid attention to take note of uh, these statements. The President, uh, thank you, Mr. Lumsat. Uh, during today's proceedings, Merci, as the Chamber has already informed you, the indiqué, WESU unit has provided you with a jury council, Mr. Mong Rutia, who is now sitting next to you, Rutia, so that you can consult with him. Vous, and we have received information from the West Sioux unit through the greffier that uh, you have uh, du greff, some problem with the hearing and the, in other words, you have hearing aid. Uh, so to assist you so, uh, with um, this, 
we need to readjust the volume of the il faudra donc headsets ajuster so that you can hear le volume the du message son qui very passe clearly and we also note that you dans vos écouteurs have some pour que health vous concerns. puissiez bien entendre and les questions have posées nous savons this également que vous connaissez sure les problèmes de santé assist you and uh, you indicate that uh, you may need to vous avez visit uh, the toilet uh, Rather vous deviez often. vous rendre fréquemment That's au lieu des matter. You may, uh, the, the, the chamber doesn't mind uh, you requesting it so that uh, you can Le go to the vous bathroom to vous relieve yourself uh, because that's, uh, that's what the chamber can assist you. So just, just tell the chamber whenever you si would like. Uh, to go to the bathroom, then Faites you will be allowed to go there immediately. And the session will not be very long. We hope you will be dit, released soon. Ne devrait pas durer the trop president longtemps. continues. Nous now we would like uh, to hand over to the co-prosecutors uh, to put questions to this witness uh, first. You may now commencer. proceed. Je vous en prie. National Co-Prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President, and uh, good morning to you, Mr. President, Bonjour and your honours, and good morning to juges. parties to the proceedings, and good morning to you, Mr. Lum Sat. Sat. I am Seng Bun Kieng, a National Co-Prosecutor at the Je Office of Co-Prosecutors, along with my colleague, uh, Mr. Dale Lai Sack. De mon confrère, we have Dale some questions. Et nous avons des questions à vous and poser. the questions are meant to ascertain the truth, uh, the events that en happened during de faire la the period of Democratic Cambodia. Mr. Lum Sat, in the statements you gave Monsieur before Lum the co-investigators, your first interview in particular, you indicated that uh, you were a soldier since uh, 1971 until 1975 in Platoon 202. I am referring to document E3-364, my ERN 0 English 00 French ERN 00 28-21-97. Mr. President, with your leave, uh, we Président, would like uh, this document to be handed over to the witness for examination. The President, President you document. may proceed, and court officer is now directed to bring the document to the witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Lum Sat, uh, can you tell the Monsieur chamber, Lum please, Sat. where were you based and uh, Où where, uh, what did uh, your battalion do from 1971 until April 1975? Response. From 1975 on, onwards, uh, we were in Pursat. À partir de 1975, nous étions à Pursat. And uh, by 1975, uh, when the country was in p at peace, uh, we were stationed uh, in Pursat. Quand le pays était en paix, nous étions stationnés à Pursat. Question. Mr. Lumsat, uh, my question was uh, about uh, you 
working during 1971 to 1975, we would like to know where you worked or where your unit would be located. Où travailliez-vous? Où se trouvait votre unité? Response. Réponse. We were stationed at uh, sector Nous seven. Nous étions stationnés dans le secteur sept. Thank you. Question. Question. During 1971 and all the way to 1975, what did your unit do? Qu'a fait votre unité? Response. We engaged in the battlefields at the forefront Nous avons at Sector 7. Sur le front. That our main task. Thank notre you. Question. Mission. You said uh, you were engaged uh, in the forefront, uh, the battle front, uh, the front battle. Vous Did you also engage in sur le front? fighting with London soldiers? Est-ce que vous avez combattu Response. les soldats de London? I engaged Réponse. in the battlefields when we had to fight with uh, the opponents uh, along with our comrades from other zones. Les forces adverses aux côtés Thank you. de mes camarades Question. des autres zones. If possible, Question. Could you tell the chamber please when did you engage in the fighting à with the London soldiers? Vous êtes-vous battu contre les soldats de London? Response. That started Réponse. from 1972 all the way to 1975. Et 75. Question. During such fighting Question. with the London soldiers, ces combats contre were les soldats the soldiers de on the opposing side ever been arrested? If so, how were they treated? Que Response. De ces du camp yes, sir, we arrested uh, some of them. Et si oui, comment but uh, Réponse, oui, nous en avons we certains. did not do anything to them. Mais we nous had nous to send them back fait. to the rear. Nous les avons we vers even helped uh, treat the wounded by helping inject some leur blessure medicine en to cure them. Question. Des injections you said that people blessés. would be sent to Question. the back or to the rear. Les gens so vers can you be more specific on this? Which, which rear you were referring to? De quoi exactement? Response. When I said uh, they were sent to the rear, I would like uh, to say that, that they were sent to uh, the village, uh, rather to the um, heads of the district uh, who were in charge of the rear and where these people could be received and treated. Thank you. Question. Now, I would like uh, to ask you about the chain of command. Sur les structures hiérarchiques. You worked in the northwest zone. Vous dans la zone nord Can you tell the chamber how orders were de quelle received les or how reçus? people communicated? De quelle manière les gens Response. Réponse. In terms of orders, for example, if we had to attack the si enemy in any particular location, then we would receive orders from the upper echelon to the zone supérieur. who rendered uh, uh, these orders to our unit. 
So we received order from our superior, and then our superior would render the orders to us. Then we carried out the orders. Et nous mettions exécution les ordres ainsi reçus de nos supérieurs qui les avaient relayés. Question. Question. In your statement uh, before the co-investigating judges, you also mentioned uh, that from 1971, to 1975, Taki was the zone military chairman, and I am referring to the same document, document E3-364, under ERN in Khmer 0 and English ERN 00250759 French ERN 00282197 Who did Taki report to? A qui Taki faisait-il rapport? Response he reported to the center. Au centre. Question. Question. Were you aware whether or how the communication would be channeled from the zone to the center and from the center to the zone. De la zone au centre Response. Uh, orders were received through Réponse. the leaders of Les the Khmer Rouge. Par des Khmer Rouge. Question. To the best Question. of your recollection, when you started working as a soldier in 1971 to 1975, did you know who were the leaders of the Khmer Rouge? Question. Did you know who were the leaders of the Response. Réponse. I did not know very much, but I je believe that the senior leaders sujet, were mais je pense que les uh, 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 include uh, Mr. Kyusong Pan, who was in charge of the Monsieur military in Cambodia. Qui responsable des forces militaires au Cambodge. Question. Can you please be Question. more precise on this? You said that Mr. Kyusampan was in charge of military in Cambodia. What did he do at that time? Response. I don't know his roles Réponse. very well, Je ne sais pas exactement but I il am aware that he was in charge Mais of the military. Il était responsable de Question. Apart uh, from Mr. Kyusom Pond, Hormis were you aware of other people who were the senior à votre leaders of the Khmer Rouge? Qui était les autres hauts dirigeants Khmer Rouge. Response. I don't know. Because in 1975, it was the time that I learned about Kyosom Pond. C'est en 1975 que j'ai appris que c'était un homme qui était la personne en charge de l'armée. Et j'ai su la personne responsable de l'armée par la suite. Question. 
When the Khmer Rouge Revolutionary Army attacked cities during the war between 1971 and 1975, how were people treated in the areas affected by the fighting? Response. On the 17th of April, 1975, I knew that people in Phnom Penh had to be evacuated Le 17 avril 1975, and they had to be transferred to the countryside. Wow. Thank you for answering this question, but I would like to know um, the period uh, in which uh, you were engaged in the four from 1976, uh, 1971 to 1975. Did you ever know that the Khmer Rouge uh, could capture any uh, city or village at the time, to your knowledge? Response. From 1971 to 1975, I was in Bosat, in Leech district, and they actually captured Leech district to my knowledge. And in Battambang province, they captured Kwakalo and Puchidei. These were the locations I know that uh, the Khmer Rouge had captured. Je sais Question. Que Khmer Rouge se sont de ces to your knowledge, when um, you, did you observe whether or not uh, markets uh, were uh, in operation uh, at that time? In other words, did the Khmer Rouge si allow people to sell things in the market? Le marché était toléré à l'époque, s'ils existaient toujours. Autrement dit, les Khmer Rouge permettaient-ils aux gens de vendre Response. les no, biens dans les marchés? Non, les marchés étaient closed Réponse. at no. that time. Les marchés étaient fermés. Question. Question. Can you, can you elaborate further? My question uh, to you earlier was uh, that whether the Khmer Rouge allow people to open market following its capture. Que je vous posais, si les Khmer Rouge laissé les Response. No, all markets bill. were closed no. immediately after the Khmer Rouge uh, captured those uh, locations. Que les Khmer Rouge pris question. Question. How about the location under the control of the Khmer Rouge? Qu'en est-il des endroits sous le contrôle des Khmer Rouge? Were there any uh, place uh, or location where uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, forced people to assemble in any particular location or join cooperatives? Que que les Khmer Rouges forcent les gens à se Response. rassembler dans un certain endroit ou euh, former des coopératives. Know it. Uh, those people who Réponse. evacuated, who were evacuated from Phnom Penh uh, and arrived in Pursat province, they had to join cooperatives. Qui sont arrivés dans la province de Pursat ont été forcés de aller dans des coopératives. Question concerning Question. the region where you stayed. Do you happen to know when the cooperative was first established? Response. Cooperatives were first established in 1976. Thank you. Question. A bit earlier, Question. you told the uh, court that uh, there were evacuations 
que des évacuations ont eu lieu. Do you know when uh, Posat uh, was uh, taken over by the Khmer Rouge? Savez-vous à quelle date les Khmer Rouges ont pris le contrôle de Posat? Response. They actually uh, captured Pusat province on the 17th of April 1975 too, but in my location, they uh, actually took control of it at around 11 o'clock in the morning. You said um, your location was captured by the Khmer Rouge uh, by 11 in the morning. Can you expand on that a little bit further? Once uh, it uh, was captured by the Khmer Rouge, uh, did you know that there was any struggle, any fighting or resisting from the uh, previous um, authorities in your location? And if uh, uh, it There was uh, such fighting. Uh, how long did it take to capture si combats, uh, this location? Nous dire combien de temps cela a pris au Khmer Rouge pour le contrôle. Response. Réponse. It took the Khmer Rouge uh, some three to four years resisting back and forth uh, before they captured uh, the location where I stayed. Pour avoir le contrôle total de là où j'étais à cause des résistances. Thank you. Question. To your recollection, do you know how many Khmer Rouge uh, soldiers were involved in fighting to capture Pusat province? Combien de soldats Khmer Rouge ont participé à la prise de la province de Pusat? Response. Réponse. I only knew the number. Uh, Uh, in in uh, my uh, sectors, it was uh, the two battalions, uh, secteur, battalion 202 and 201, le bataillon, bataillon and uh, they 201. also joined uh, with the northwest zone uh, military as well. Force, uh, force, uh, so and there de was a uh, uh, brigade uh, joining my Donc, force as well. La force à laquelle j'appartenais. Question. Do you recall uh, Battalion 201? Vous souvenez-vous du bataillon 201? How many soldiers were in this uh, battalion and who was Combien the commander of this battalion? Ce bataillon et qui en était le commandant? Response. Battalion. Réponse. 201. Mut was the Mut commander. Était le commandant du bataillon 201. Deputy commander was Tan. Tan était le commandant adjoint. Thank you. Question. Question. Is it fair to say then that um, juste de dire? if you observe uh, the uh, Khmer Rouge forces, uh, do you know under whose command uh, did the Khmer Rouge um, uh, capture the city of Pusat? Response. It was under the uh, command of the zone. Réponse. Sous le commandement de la zone. Ta Klein Ta was the Klein commander from the zone le committee. Du comité de zone. Question. Question. Prior to capturing Posat province, do you know uh, the um, la prise de la de a fort by the name of Tulpochray? Uh, Avez-vous entendu parler d'un 
the four but like do you know the tool poetry the response well tool poetry was um the battlefield it was a tool place where poetry, i uh, struggle champ de bataille. Uh, again the opposing force over there question so you were responsible over there as well in the battle according to your question. statement Donc earlier how many london soldiers to your knowledge uh, were positioned over there combien de soldats de london étaient postés là-bas à votre connaissance A response I do not know exactly how many Réponse. there were from London's side. Je ne me souviens pas de combien il y en avait du côté de London. I uh, can only guess that there could have been around 100 or a little Je over 100. Je qu'il y en avait 100 ou un peu plus. Bah, bon. Question. Question. Do you recall who the leader Vous vous souvenez-vous qui était le portrait. commandant à tout le portrait Battlefield. Au champ de bataille de tout le portrait. Réponse. Réponse. Well, under the Lonel side, uh, to my recollection, Paul was the de Lonel, uh, commander. Paul He was uh, with the rank of uh, captain. And Run uh, was Et his deputy. Darren That's what I can recall. Nadjoin, voilà ce dont je me, je, ce dont je me souviens. Bah, con. Hello. Thank you. Now, Tiens. I would like to focus your attention on Pursat Provincial Town. Oui, que l'on parle de la ville de Pursat. Do you know what happened to the civilians in the uh, Polsat provincial town once this uh, city was uh, captured by the Khmer Rouge? What happened to the civilians uh, in the in the city center? Response. It was in 1976. I was transferred to a mobile Réponse. unit. I was tasked to the canals. À une, une brigade itinérante, brigade mobile, qui um, une unité mobile qui um, I stayed with the mobile unit. Et je suis resté au sein de ce groupe mobile. Question, Mr. Sad. Actually, I would like to know. When the uh, Khmer Rouge uh, troops en fait, took over the provincial town of Posat, I would like to know whether or not you knew what happened to the civilians si in the provincial town of Posat. Response. Réponse. When I first arrived in Posat provincial town, people had already been Pursat, evacuated. Uh, they had already left uh, in different directions from the city center. Depuis le centre de la ville. Question. Can you Question. Um, make it uh, clearer? Uh, do you know uh, how many days after the liberation were people evacuated from the provincial town? Can you please uh, be precise on this? Être précis, je vous prie. Response. Réponse. Following the liberation in 1975, Après la libération en I think people uh, were all evacuated out of the town within three weeks Je pense or so. Tout le monde a, que les villes ont été évacuées en trois semaines. Time, boy. Question. To your knowledge. Question. Do you know who was in the authority to decide on the evacuation of people out of the uh, provincial town at that time. Qui Do you know? Le pouvoir d'ordonner l'évacuation des villes provinciales. Response. It was the order Réponse. from the uh, zone committee. C'était un ordre qui venait and du comité de I zone. I believe that they also received the order from the authority in Phnom Penh. Et je pense que eux 
avait reçu cet ordre des autorités à Phnom Penh. Question. Question. Do you know the reason why people were required to leave uh, Pusat Shore Town following the uh, capture of this uh, city by the Khmer Rouge uh, forces? Response. I learned from others uh, that if people were to be kept in the city or in the markets, there would be some infiltrating forces among the civilians. That's why people were required to leave the city uh, to different locations in the countryside. Thank you. Question. Do you know who was in the authority to execute the evacuation of people? Who? Savez-vous qui avait le pouvoir de mettre en œuvre cette évacuation? Response. Réponse. I do not know whether or not the military were involved. I only learned uh, that si there was order from the zone and sector committees. Tout ce que j'ai su, c'est qu'il y avait un ordre émanant des comités de zone et de secteur. Question. Question. So, aside from the military involvement, uh, do you happen to know who uh, were involved in Ordering the evacuation of people. Participer à cet ordre d'évacuer les populations des villes. Response. Takon from the zone and Tasot from the sector. Takon de la zone et Tasot du secteur. Question. Question. How about your unit? Were you tasked uh, to execute unité. this evacuation plan -vous as dû well? Mettre en œuvre ce plan d'évacuation. Response. Réponse. I was in the lowest rank, uh, or my unit was uh, in the lowest rank, rather, uh, and the execution was uh, handed down from the upper authority. L'ordre est venu Question. de l'autorité supérieure. Do you know whether there was any specific instruction? Given to you, your unit, uh, in particular, in relation to the evacuation of the people. À propos de l'évacuation des Response. I do not Réponse. know. It was the decision made uh, at the upper uh, level. Uh, I uh, une was uh, in the uh, civilian uh, force, so I do Moi, not know what. The decision civil, was at the upper level. Je ne vous dire quelle était la Question. Qui a été prise à a bit earlier, you told the court that unit, your unit was uh, the lowest in the rank in charge of that location. Était celle qui so, le were your unit armed? Or in other words, uh, were you allowed uh, to use weapons uh, in order to make sure that people leave uh, the city? Le droit d'utiliser les armes pour vous assurer que les gens quittent la ville. Response. Yes, uh, we were armed. Oui, nous étions armés. And uh, we were actually armed, but when we were guarding people along the street. Nous étions armés, mais nous surveillons Question. les gens sur la, roue, sur la rue. Do you know where the people were Question. being evacuated to at that time? Savez-vous vers où les gens étaient évacués à l'époque? Réponse. Réponse. Well, uh, all 
people were evacuated uh, out of Bosat provincial town and then they ran in a different direction and uh, particularly uh, down uh, south along national road number five surtout vers le sud le long de la route numéro 5 Thank you. So I would like to now turn to um, another topic in relation to Turpo Chere. According Merci. to your statement with the investigator of the OCIJ, you mentioned uh, about the meeting of the Khmer Rouge cadre, and you received instructions uh, in relation to the uh, gathering of the police and soldiers of Lonnol administration in Pusat province. Concerning the first meeting, actually in uh, question and answer number four of your second interview with the Office of Co-Investigating Judges, document D, uh, 232-65. You made mention that uh, the the battalion, uh, the chairman of the companies, battalion and regiments, were invited to join the meeting led by Tanyam, the zone committee, and Tasot, the sector committee. And you said that the substance of the meeting was to advise the commanders of the Khmer Rouge that the soldiers and, and police uh, from the Lonnol soldier, those who are bearing a certain rank, uh, they would be uh, killed. Uh, they could not uh, keep these people, otherwise they would be uh, rebelling against us in a later date. Uh, so that is uh, what uh, you told the investigator of the OCIJ. Mr. President, I would like to seek your leave uh, to have this document handed over to the witness. The President Court Officer is now instructed to bring the document to the witness for his examination. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, in this particular meeting, who said uh, that uh, soldiers and policemen from the uh, Lonnol administration had to be killed? Do you recall? Response. It was the order from the zone committee. C'est un ordre qui émanait du comité de zone. Question. Do you Question. know the name of the person from the zone committee? Vous souvenez-vous du nom de la personne au comité de zone? Response. Con. Réponse. Worse. Con. C'était con. Ta nyem and ta con ta were. Ta nyem et ta con. Jo. Question. Question. Did both of them mention uh, anything concerning the uh, authority or instruction they received from any level in the authorities that the uh, policemen and soldiers from the London administration had to be executed? Response. No, uh, they never told us about that. No, ils ne nous l'ont jamais dit. Question. Again, in your statement with the Office of Co-Investigating Judges, uh, you also Toujours mentioned a man by the name of Tassot. Uh, which uh, sector was uh, Tassot in charge of? Response. He was in charge of Sector 7. Il était responsable du Sector 7, dit le témoin. Question. Question. Can you tell the court um, in Sector 7 or how many districts subordinate to this sector? Pouvez-vous dire 
à la cour. Combien de districts il y avait dans le secteur C? Response. There were Réponse. three districts. Il y en avait trois. Coco Co was one of them. Condien district. Condien. And Prem Lu district. Et Prem Lu. Thank you. Question. Do you recall how many regiment commanders or battalion commanders Vous were present during the meeting? Du nombre de commandants de régiment ou de bataillon qui participaient à la réunion. Response. I only knew that there were attendance or presence uh, of people from the zone and the sector. Je n'étais au courant que de la participation de gens venant de la zone et du secteur. In your First interview with the Office of Co-Investigating Judges, Question. document E3 slash uh, 364. Document E3 bar 364. Here and in Khmer, 00, 24, 24, 24, 22. English, 00, 00, 25, 0, 59. French, 00, 28, 28-21-97 You said uh, on about 19 or 20 of April 1975 I received orders to assemble the soldiers and policemen from low to high rank who had connections to the Lonol era and killed them at Tulpo Trey in Kandyang district. Partisan du régime de Lonol pour être tué. Was that mentioned in the meeting chaired by Tasson, Tasson and Nyam? Cet ordre. Uh, was it during this meeting that you received the instruction that the uh, policemen and soldiers from uh, Lonol um, era Uh, be killed at Tour Pochray. Uh, did you hear that discussion uh, during that meeting? Avez-vous entendu cela pendant la réunion? Réponse. Actually, at that time, they assembled those soldiers and policemen, and I did not realize that those people were destined to be killed. Uh, I was actually guarding along the street. I, I was with the trucks at that time on, on the street. Prosecutor, well, I am going to dwell on this matter uh, uh, later on, but let me um, follow up a bit on this uh, issue. Who instructed uh, that uh, Tour Portray was to be the location to assemble Lonol soldiers and policemen? Who issued this order that this particular place was the assembly place uh, for soldiers and policemen of the Lonol era? Response, uh, the Réponse. order was rendered from the zone commander. L'ordre émanait du commandant de zone. Thank you. Question. Question. I would like you to now tell the chamber the time at which the meeting was convened under the chairmanship of Ta Nyam. In your first interview before the co-investigators, document E3-364, under Khmer ER-0024-22, 
English E R N zero zero two five zero seven five nine and French E R N zero zero two eight two one nine seven. You state you received order on about nineteen or twentieth of April nineteen seventy-five, and that in your same statement, rather uh, the second statement and the document D two three two stroke sixty-five, and the question and answer Question number four, réponse. you said this meeting was held three days before, Mais vous dites, rather after the liberation of 17th of April 1975, just about four to five days after the liberation of Phnom Penh and Posat. Now, okay, in that meeting, you mentioned uh, that order was surrendered by Tanyam. We would like uh, to know how soon uh, was uh, this area was captured by the Khmer Rouge after that meeting. Combien de temps après la réunion Ou plutôt, quand Quand après Enfin, combien de temps après la réunion Response. Ces endroits Bossat ont-ils été Les Khmer ont-ils pris le contrôle de ces villes After that meeting. Réponse. Poursat a été capturé une semaine après la réunion. Question. Now, I would like uh, to ask you a few questions concerning the Question. police and soldiers of Lonol sur les policiers et les soldats de Lonol and you stated this before the co-investigators. My question to you is, how Vous en parlez dans former Lonol officials Comment les and soldiers were identified in that de meeting. L'ONOL ont-ils été identifiés à cette réunion? Response. We were told that the soldiers Réponse. and officials would be On nous a dit que gathered to attend a study session. Assister à une session and after the session, people were allowed to resume their functions. For example, session, whatever they did in the past, they would then resume the same fonctions. tasks. Question. Do you know when this meeting, when Lonol Question. soldiers and officials gather, take place? À quel moment s'est tenue cette réunion rassemblant Response. les soldats et fonctionnaires de l'ONOL I don't remember this very well. Réponse. It happened Je ne m'en souviens pas bien. Time ago. Il y a but I can temps. say that it was about one or two weeks Mais after the 17th of April 1975. Une ou deux semaines après le 17 avril 1975. Question. So that everyone is clear, can you please explain Question. to us a meeting chaired by Tanyam and Tassot and par another Tanyim meeting where former Lonol and officials attended? Because um, we believe that your a a des explanation will be very helpful. Can you tell the chamber when was this meeting where Lonol soldiers and officials met take place? Cette deuxième réunion de soldats et de fonctionnaires de Lonol. Où a-t-elle eu lieu? Response. It was 
about one or two weeks after the liberation, after the 17th of April 1975, when the meeting was convened. Une ou deux semaines après le 17 avril. Co-prosecutor, that was the meeting where former Lono soldiers and officials uh, attended. What about the meeting chaired by Tanyam and Tassot? Where did that meeting take place? Où la réunion a-t-elle eu lieu? Response. That meeting was convened after the liberation of 1975. Après la libération de 1975. A few days after that, uh, this meeting was après cela, convened. La réunion a eu lieu. Thank you. I would like uh, to also refer to your statement in your first interview Question. before Je vous the investigators au document is three stroke a three six four comma er zero zero two four two four two two English zero zero two five zero seven five nine and French er zero zero two eight two one nine seven And that you said uh, you were you were ordered uh, to wait avoir reçu um, for the trucks uh, where people could be gathered to the provincial hall. Qui avait ramassé ces gens pour les déposer. All people were au gathered provincial. across Posad province, Vous dites que ces and gens there were about thirty to forty trucks of people. At that y avait um, place. Entre 30 Now my question to you: Were you or your colleagues uh, at uh, the question. provincial hall when these Lono soldiers uh, arrived? Étaient au bureau provincial au moment de l'arrivée de ces soldats Response. de Lono. I was not Réponse. at the provincial non. hall. Je I pas was au bureau provincial. At a different location. J'étais ailleurs. Question. You Question. said uh, you were at a different location. Can you say Vous precisely how far were you from the provincial hall? Du bureau provincial. R response. It was about réponse. five kilometers from that place. À environ cinq kilomètres de là. Question. You said Question. there were 30 to 40 trucks. Vous dites Did y you see those trucks? Entre 30 et 40 camions. Avez -vous vu ces camions? Yes, I was uh, seeing Réponse. the trucks because I was on. Oui. A guard on duty along that service, road so when the trucks le long de la passed. Route les camions sont passés par là. Question. How big Question. were the trucks? Quelle était la taille des camions? Response. Réponse. They were the military trucks. They were somehow like militaire. any kind of JMC truck. Uh, the truck can accommodate at least uh, 30 people. Dans lesquels peuvent prendre place bah, au moins une trentaine de personnes. Thank you. Question. Now, in the same topic concerning the trucks, toujours concernant ces camions.
Do you know whether these trucks were the same trucks that transported the soldiers si to the provincial hall and then brought them to Tolpotri? Ces gens au bureau provincial et pour ensuite les conduire Response. à Tolpotri. Yes, indeed, these uh, were the same trucks. Oui, c'était les mêmes camions. The trucks that transported those people to Tolpotri. Question. Again, to be uh, clear, Question. were these trucks uh, used to transport them to the provincial hall? C'était les camions qui avaient été utilisés Response. pour amener ces gens yes, au bureau provincial, n'est-ce pas? Yes, they were. Pour the trucks uh, transported them from Réponse. provincial oui. hall all the way to Tour Portray. Ces camions ont été utilisés pour les Thank amener you. au bureau provincial et pour les conduire à Tour Portray. I would like uh, to refer to Question. your interview. Again, this the second interview of yours. Document uh, D232 stroke uh, 65, question and answer number 3, you mentioned about the meeting, uh, that the meeting was convened uh, at Provincial Hall and uh, where Lonol military and policemen were convened. You said Ta Nyum and Ta Khan, the Northwest Zones committees, rather TACON, the Northwest Zones uh, committees, and TASOT, the sector committee, et ensuite, TASOT, held a meeting in provincial hall with Lonol Mitri and policemen who were just liberated from Posat province. And the content of this meeting was that the zone committee stated that all people with ranks had to go to study first and upon returning from the study, Anka would allow them to wear the same ranks as they uh, did before. And under another document, E3-364, Khmer ER N0024-2422, English ER N0025-0759, and uh, French ER N0028-2197, you also say this. These people were cheated. Ces gens they ont were été dupés. tricked. Ils ont été piégés. As that they were promised uh, to uh, obtain their previous rank in the meeting. My question to you is, did you enterré. attend that meeting personally? Avez-vous personnellement assisté à Response. la réunion no, où didn't. cette promesse a été faite? Réponse. No. Thank you. You were not Question. in the meeting. Vous How could you know la about uh, the content Comment of this meeting? How could you know about the content of this meeting? Response. I learned this Réponse. from my commander, par mon chef. the commander of my regiment. Le commandant de mon régiment. Question. What did he tell you? Question. Que vous a-t-il dit? Response. Réponse. I was told that the police and soldiers On were gathered to attend the meeting. Et les soldats avaient été réunis because, pour participer à la réunion. Uh, they, they afraid that these police and soldiers would revolt against uh, the Khmer Rouge. révolte de ces gens contre les Khmer Rouge. Question. Can you tell the chamber Question. the name of the man behind Comment the regimental committee? Le chef Response. du he régiment. Response. He was 
Mr. Khun and his deputy was Khun. Mol. Son chef s'appelait, l'interprète se reprend, son adjoint s'appelait Mol. Question. Question. Commander Hun, as you said, uh, the commander of regiment, Hun, dans ce regiment, told uh, you about uh, this. Vous dites que vous en a parlé. But uh, did he mention any names of the soldiers or policemen who would be allowed to resume their de de qui previous ranks in the meeting? Retrouver leur rang antérieur Response. I learned uh, that uh, people who were at the level of the center would uh, be allowed to resume these ranks. Entendu dire que des gens qui se trouvaient au niveau du centre pourraient retrouver leur rang. Question. Were you aware whether this meeting convened in the Question. complex of the provincial hall Cette réunion qui or a was lieu it Held outside. Provincial a-t-elle eu lieu à l'intérieur de l'enceinte du bureau ou à l'extérieur? The meeting was uh, conducted in La the Posat Provincial Hall. Question. Au bureau provincial de Posat. Question. How many people of the former Lonol? Police and soldiers attended uh, this meeting. Combien Do you know about this? Policiers if not, say so. Response: I don't Le know. Savez-vous? Réponse: Non. Thank you. Question. The next question is about the transportation of uh, these uh, former Lonol police and soldiers to Tuol Pochre. Indeed, they were told earlier on that they would uh, be On leur avait dit um, attending a study session. How were these people transported from de the provincial hall? À leur destination. Response. When I was Réponse. at that place, uh, I saw them being loaded onto the trucks. Two trucks would be camions. allowed to leave the On place at a time. Deux camions partir à la fois. Question. Question. During the course of transporting the soldiers and the police, where was your unit stationed? Où votre unité était-elle stationnée? Response: We were stationed in Kandiang District, three kilometers from. They are three kilometers, but about ten kilometers from Tuol Pochre. Question. Question. You said uh, from the place you were stationed uh, was about ten kilometers. Vous étiez positionné se trouvait uh, à une dizaine de kilomètres. I mean, as compared to Tool Tray, de Tool and they're three kilometers Vous from aussi uh, une the place de uh, kilomètres. you stationed. But I would like uh, to be more precise. Uh, can you tell us how far was was it from the place you stationed to Tool Tray? Quelle distance séparait l'endroit où vous étiez? Response. From the place we Réponse. were stationed was about three kilometers. I mean, from the provincial hall to my place was about three kilometers. But from my Par place contre, to Tol Pochre was about ten kilometers. Il y avait une de kilometers. Question. 
You said uh, you were about three kilometers from Provincial Hall of Poussin. In which commune were you in at that time? Dans quelle commune étiez-vous? Response: It was in Kandiang district, district Tasnok commune. Commune de Tasnok. Question. question. The reason I ask this question to si you because a question, few days ago a witness uh, before jours, the chamber testified, Mr. Ong Chat stated that London soldiers Chat, who were transported from Provincial Hall were transported to Po Village before they were transported to Tul Pochrey. Does this account reflect your memory of what happened in those days. Response, yes, it does, because uh, oui. Po Commune was La on commune the same po road se leading to Tul Po Correction from the interpreter, not Po Commune, Po village l'interprète question c'est le village de was po et non pas la commune de commune uh, rather district question. and the place where you were stationed was in the same commune les deux endroits se trouvaient ils sur la même commune uh, they were in the same réponse commune c'était la même commune question question was the unit stationed in Po Village the same unit as yours? L'unité stationnée dans le village de Po était-elle la vôtre? There was only one unit, Réponse. my unit Il alone, avait seule that unité. was stationed in la this vicinity. Elle était stationnée à cet endroit. Thank you. Question. Question. I would like to cite uh, your statement in your interview before the co-investigators and the document D232-65 uh, and the question and answer number 5. Question, réponse, numéro cinq. You said uh, you received uh, Orders from radio communication from Tul Pochre that pe more people had to be transported to Tul Pochre. My question now is How did you communicate uh, through radio communication with the Khmer Rouge soldiers at Tul Pochre? Par la radio, comment communiquez-vous avec les soldats Khmer Rouge Response. de tout le Pochrey? People at Tul Pochrey Fort Au fort communicated de Tool Pochrey, through radio communication to us, avec asking par la radio. us that more truckloads of soldiers and police had to be transported there. Disait d'amener d'autres cargaisons. Question. Were you the person who question. was operating this radio communication with the Khmer Rouge soldiers at Tour Portray, or were you hearing personnellement uh, en contact uh, or radio heard avec ceux this de conversation when your colleague was uh, on radio communication? l'appareil. My commander was uh, talking on the radio communication and I heard this. Question. So, in general, it was your commander who was operating this radio communication talking to uh, the Khmer Rouge soldiers at Tul Pochre and you overheard the conversation. Is that my understanding of your statement? C'est bien ce que vous dites. Response, that is correct. Réponse, effectivement. 
question. Question. Were you aware of who was in charge of um, operating the radio communication at Tool Portray? And what was his rank? Radio à Tool Portray. Et le cas échéant, savez-vous quel était Response. le rang de cette personne He was uh, from the zone. He was in the zone committee. Zone, un membre du comité de zone. Question. Question. When you refer to zone committee, do you remember his name? Pouvez-vous indiquer le nom de cette personne si vous vous en souvenez? Response. Réponse. He was a client. C'était He was Ta the Klein. military commander for the zone. Le chef militaire de la zone. Question. Question. Was Ta Klein the Ta Klein? Commander of soldiers at Tool Portray, or was he subordinate to other commanders? Ou bien était-il subordonné à quelqu'un d'autre, à un commandant? Response: He was in charge of the zone committee commander, and he was there on behalf of the zone. Il était sur place Question. au nom de la zone. How many people were Question. there at Tol Pochre at that time à on the Khmer Rouge side? Combien de Khmer Rouge y avait-il à Tol Pochre? Response. Réponse. I'm not quite sure I know the exact Je ne suis number pas sûr de connaître le them, nombre exact. But uh, there were roughly 50 to 60 people. Il devait y avoir environ de 50 à 60 personnes. Co-prosecutor, Mr. President, uh, Co should we observe Monsieur le Président, uh, some le moment break or should we continue? The President, thank you, Mr. Co-prosecutor and uh, witness. Uh, it is appropriate Merci moment already for the adjournment. The Chamber will adjourn for 20 minutes and the next session will be resumed uh, by 10 to 11. Uh, Court officer is now directed to assist to the witness during the adjournment and have him return to the courtroom by 10 to 11. Le pour the court is adjourned. Suspension